What it do, baby? We got ourselves a new coin sponsor, one that I'm very happy to present you guys. It's not other than the Mutt Reserve, my Madden Ultimate Team coin site. So if you guys are interested in buying or selling a Madden Ultimate Team coin, check it out and be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for 15% off. Last night on stream here on YouTube, we grinded the MVP solos to go ahead and get ourselves an 85 to 86 overall to get ourselves the Lamar Jackson for much cheaper. And it's well worth it considering that if you play them solo challenges and you get an 85 to 86 overall, you're going to be saving around 50 or saving around 60 to 80,000 coins depending on who you pull. So let's say you pull an 85 overall. You can then do the Lamar Jackson set for like 220,000 coins by buying the other three elites or the Tyre Matthew set, whichever one you want to choose for your team or whoever's going for the most at the time. Upon completion, you can sell the Tyre Matthew for like 230,000 coins and after tax, 200K and you'll end up with two Nat Elites for playing solo challenges. Be getting them for like 30,000 coins. So if you guys want to improve your team, you guys got the coins to do it, I would think about playing the solo challenges. Get yourself that free Elite, do the damn set, and then walk out of there with two Elites for the price of one. So great. And because we're able to do that, we got Lamar Jackson. And this Lamar Jackson, man, is really, really solid, man. 89 speed, 87 throw power with decent throw accuracy. He's got 88, 80, and 82. Uh, he has a good throw on the run, and his abilities are insane right now, man. Escape artist, safety valve, and he has dashing deadeye. The main reason why you're buying this card is because you get pre-baked abilities, so you ain't got to spend all that training on it. I think escape art is like 1,500 training, and dashing deadeye might be like 800 to 1,000 training. I don't, I don't know the price of these things right now, but they're expensive, and so just go ahead and buy this card and play with it if you like, the, like how he plays. Rock him out for a while, and then if he gets an upgraded card down the line, then you can go about powering him up. But as of right now, he is going to be fine running stock with all these abilities that he has on him currently. You also got Tyra Matthew out here. I love this dude's card. I really wish that he was a different archetype, though, because I thought he might get something glitchy at the Tier 3 ability slot. On his 89, he gets one step ahead at the Tier 3 slot, but I thought if you power him up, since he'll get 90 zone, I thought he might get some zone out stuff, but it looks like he doesn't get that because of his archetype. He'll get it later on, but he doesn't get it right away. Whether if he was a zone coverage strong safety, he would get it right now, which would make him play way better in zone. So in our gameplay, you guys are gonna be watching it. We're gonna be playing this Tyre Matthew a lot in the slot, maybe a lot on the outside as well, because we wanna see how we can play with this uh, mid zone KO. So that's gonna be for short routes or intermediate routes. And we're gonna see how he plays with this one step ahead in man coverage. So. And if he plays well, man, he might be worth powering up just because he'll get faster, which would be great. But then I could also choose something better than this Homer ability to get this uh, universal coverage activated much more faster. By the way, if you guys want to get Tyron Matthew or you want to get the Lamar Jackson or you want to get that Gronkowski and you don't got the Madden coins for it, be sure to hit up the link in the description and use code TEXAS at checkout to get 15% off your order on the Mutt Reserve. By the way, this is my second time of doing this. So if you guys can do me a favor, go ahead and smack a like on the video. For some reason in the last gameplay, my face cam just didn't record. And because I'm an idiot, I didn't hit the backup button to record it on the memory card. So I was I lost a game where I had some really good plays as you guys will see on the screen right now. So this is the second time we are going ahead and recording this particular gameplay for Lamar and the Tyre Matthew. So let's hope that we can recreate the same magic we had in the first one. Just, you know, on camera this time. Again, the same defense as the last game play that you guys didn't really get to see. Where he's just going to be out here. My guard did not move. <laughs> he did not move. We had the same defense as the last game where he's just going to be out here in cover one robber press. And so luckily we have a scrambling quarterback. If he starts to spy, he's only going to be sitting three versus five. So I should be able to find somebody open. Uh, but what I'm nervous about is how broken this game is. And typically if I uh, played the wrong play. Typically, you can get to the quarterback with only sending three consistently at times. Oh, circle. We got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tyreek running right by Dre Bly. Lamar Jackson strikes fast. Because he has Lamar Jackson with escape artists, I'm probably going to end up putting Cole Holcomb out here specifically. And I like last game. Let's go ahead and throw in our pass rushers and run stuffers out here. Because I was, I was legit out here not using Von Miller or Khalil Mack, and why do I have him on my team if I'm not going to use him? So, dumb as hell of me to do that. We 
Let's test out my man Tyron Matthew early on in zone out before you start putting him in man. Looks like he's about to run the ball. You got Warwick Dunn back there too. At least he's not activated with evasive, so we're good to go there. Good tackle, Khalil Mack. He's out here and split close right now, so this is the halfback will stuff. It'll be fine. John New Smith out here, so got a little budget offense. See, I don't, why would you power up Tyre? Why would you power up Lamar Jackson if you didn't have to? Blocking everybody, blocking everybody, and you are throwing users to. Oh shit! I didn't see him. I, I, I forgot that Lamar can hawk anybody down. I was about to close my eyes and run the end zone. <laughs> Bro, we are going to use Lamar and Wildcat. Oh, I feel like the right side is wide open, but I'm about to make a mistake running this bitch back. All right, yeah. Yeah, I would have been a touchdown if I pitched the ball. Man, all right, we got man again, right? Man again, only sending two people. Perfect. Get the pancakes. Get the pancakes. Bro, I will sit back here somebody, so somebody get open. There it is. There it is. McCaffrey! Oh, he almost got the end zone. I think that's that safety valve because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have caught if that wasn't activated on this quarterback. And now he's out here in goal line. And I should have came out in the passing formation because I'm pro. I mean, it's green over there, but this game is inconsistent at times when it comes to run blocking, as you can clearly see. <laughs> All green still got tackled in the back before a loss. Playing cover two in it. We got a drag running back coming open. This is my guy. That's mine. Let's jump. Let's go, baby. Why are y'all trying my use? Get up, Adrian. Adrian! You slow. You got up like with no urgency at all. Oh, Wilson out here. I fall and I can't get up, head ass shit, bro. I'm kind of mad about that. That could have been a touchdown. If you got up fast enough, man, dude was out here like, I need help. Life alert. All right, first down. <laughs> right, let's run inside the zone right here because I'm pretty sure he's going to spot the defensive end. Hopefully, he gets pancake. That's what happened last year, right? Tom McCaffrey is a tank. All right, is he out here in the zone now? Is this still man? All right, got him. All right, easy. Thank you, Zach. That was a really bad throw, but we made the catch anyway. <laughs> Touchdown, up 17 to nothing. One step ahead. Look at that one step ahead, bruh. You see that? You see? Oh, my God. Good hit. You see how he was able to kind of speed boost back into position? <laughs> he got beat. Clearly got beat. And was able to keep up. Play the quarterback on his read option here right now. Nice. Oh, nice juke. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Oh. Oh. He's exposing my user. Bro, that was nice. <laughs> oh, that was dope. That was, I should have clicked off, bro. I mean, I ain't being too greedy. I should have clicked off to see if you get the tackle. But he cooked up some fierce for that run right there. So now he's right back in the game. So looks like he's not going to be sending. All right, bet. Take a little running back right there. Let's go, McCaffrey. Let's go. Oh, good. Wait a minute. Did All right, wait. That's okay, that's Jalen. I'm like, did Donta Hightower just catch me? This... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was. Oh, we had that. Turn... Look at that quick turnaround. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, my God. The throw power with Lamar Jackson is going to kill me. That was going to be a completion. Going to be a completion. Just did not have enough velocity on that to get it over the guy's head because he was so far underneath. Oceaning over Jerry Judy. Is it going to be a drag again? Is everybody running the same ebook? Everybody's running the same exact ebook, bro. <laughs> this game's only been out like three days, and we already got to seeing the same offensive schemes. Not a fan of that right now. All right, what you got for me? Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he's passing the ball. He's passing the ball. Oh, he, he caught that. No, nah, we ain't got him beat this time. We ain't got him beat, but we got a quarterback. We can scramble. Slide, slide. No, no. Oh, my God. Damn it all to hell. My Elgato crapped out again. So from this point on, you guys are going to be getting post-com Texas. As my man dots me up on the sideline right there, gets both feet in. And then he runs the ball right up the middle, right by my defensive lineman. And I have made the decision that I'm going to invest heavy in some inside stuff, defensive tackles, because I don't like being ran over, right? With I don't mind being passed on because with it's fine, but when you're 
in a defensive setting to stop the run and they just still get a touchdown. It's so frustrating. So I'm about to go pick some players up as he's trying to get down here to get a field goal because he has scored 21 straight points. I had two turnovers and he scored 14 points off him. We get sacked right there and keep an eye on square. He's open and I accidentally passed the line of scrimmage. Didn't slide. So just a bunch of a double whammy, right? I missed out on the touchdown which would have been very critical in this game when you guys see the second half. And then I had to waste the timeout. But luckily, with six seconds left, McCaffrey's wide open in the flat, able to give him the ball and get out of bounds with one second to spare to go up to 20 points in the game, down one. And like I said, once those turnovers happened, bro, his defense started playing crazy. So we had to make plays on our end, on our defense, so we can go ahead and put our offense in the best position to succeed. And our defense was lights out in the second half. It's just our offense on just kept – getting second and logs, third and logs, able to get the completion here to our Zach Ertz. We got a fourth and short, and the point of his second half is just to show how bad I was on third downs. I mean, on fourth downs. I just could not get a conver conversion. Right there, get pressured, incomplete pass. He's on fourth down. We get some pressure on him, and luckily we're able to force this miss to his receiver. Again, fourth and four on my end. And I just need to find a playbook that fits me, man. I'm in the Pittsburgh playbook, but they just don't have a lot of plays. Their route combinations are just not built for fourth downs because a lot of players I have open, but they're kind of running into each other and they're going to let their... It's going to lead a guy into like making a play. Like this play right here, you got a comeback route with the crossing pattern, so you're able to get picks on it. And a lot of playbooks seem to kind of have those options where you can literally... One guy can cover two people, which is not what you want in the game. And so because I just can't convert on... Fourth down, we end up losing this game by one point. The second half was just defensive heavy, and I just did not make enough adjustments on my end to kind of get the win, so it really sucks. It's really crazy how good man coverage is early on. I mentioned this at the end of the video, which you guys didn't hear because my stick crapped out on me, but the fact that you can sit out here in man coverage and only send three and still get pressure while sending three, just have lockdown coverage out there, and routes that used to be man don't be man, post routes, out routes, in routes, corner routes, like stuff like that doesn't beat man consistently enough to where you can rely on it. It's it's gonna I guess force a lot of people to get out here and buy these like receivers that have really good abilities to be able to at least move the ball consistently because even like bunch formation became popular because they beat man easily. Whereas right now there's not really anything that beats man consistently besides motion cheese. And if you do motion, if there's a guy in the area where you're throwing the ball that's guarding somebody else is going to get picked when he clicks on. So it's just tough moving the ball right now, but we still could have won this game. We just could not do anything in the second half, which is unfortunate. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. We'll fix the Elgato situation for the next one. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. This ain't money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down pay. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now nah, you don't play a pound cake. Cake, cake, cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.